So after the uh, last batch, I kind of stopped, and I'll show you what I have here. It's a little bit on the fragile side. Some of the the rocks are kind of just crumbling right out. So I think I was putting way too little of the silicon silicate silic sodium silicate in there. So you can see how it's it's fracturing away on the outer edges here, especially. But out here, it's really solid. The only problem I have is there's this flex. Let me see if I can get a good picture of this. So the whole canister, and I think it's because I have a trash can basically, and it's just too flimsy. So I'm going to reuse this. I don't think it's going to hurt. Just need to break it back down. I'll just put more sodium silicate in there, and I'm going to have to patch this where it's breaking apart right here. So I'll dump all that out. I'll pack a little more in here. I'll probably put my bottle back down in there and patch it up a little bit. And then I need to make more of the. So I wasn't using enough of this, I don't think, the sodium silicate that I made. Uh, I probably could have gone through that whole bottle easily on the bottom and part of this bottle. And I figure my walls is going to be three times as much as my bottom. So I'm going to need three more than whatever I use on the bottom. And my lid is going to be the bottom exactly again. So I need at least one and a half bottles of the sodium silicate for this, I'm guessing. And three times that would be for five bottles of sodium silicate for the walls, just to get a good liquid base to this thing. Wherever there was that last batch I did had a lot of a lot of it in it, and it stayed pretty good. But the first two batches were really light on this stuff. I, I showed you how I could just crack it. It wasn't very liquid when I put it in, and I think you need more of this in there. And this is really experimental for me, but I think I just need a little more liquid in there. So I'm going to make more of this. And I had enough, <coughs> excuse me, let me show you what I have here. I had enough of this stuff, ah, I'm shake you around a little bit, sorry. <coughs> I had enough of this stuff to do, I got about that much left in here, in one whole container. And this container made about two 500 milliliter containers over here of this sodium silicate. So I figure I'm getting a little over a thousand milliliters. Thousand milliliters? Wouldn't that just be a liter? Maybe a liter of uh, sodium silicate out of a container, a one-pound container of household drain opener lye, and that's a one-pound container of lye. So I need to definitely make more. I didn't use that much of my um, crystals. I still have a huge container of crystals, the silica gel, oh, I'm sorry, silica, silica gel, I still have a huge container of that. As you can see, we started out not even at the top, and we're not even down to halfway, we're down about to here, so I still have that much left versus it started out, you know, probably about here. So I, I think that I'm getting good turnout on my silica because it is so fine in here. There's a lot to what you're getting. Um, how many pounds was this? Did it say in the beginning? Five pounds of silica gel. However, that was $15 for five pounds. I've purchased since then another bag of silica. And I'm going to try this as well to see. Uh, this is Fresh Step Crystal. Yeah. Fresh Step Crystal. I think it just says cat litter. Cat litter. Yeah, anyways. So this is silica gel as well. Uh, and I believe it's 100% silica gel. Contains silica gel. Doesn't say it's 100%, but I think that's all it is. It's silica gel. Uh, and this also is a little bit on the blue side. So, but this is a uh, how much? How much? How much? Four pounds. The four pound bag cost it eight dollars or eight or nine dollars. Walmart I just saw the other day has a four pound bag. I think it is for seven or less. So. 
I may switch to theirs next time. But <coughs> I should have with this, considering I still have a good three to four pounds in here, even though it's a fine, it's a finer grade. And this, I think I'll have plenty of silica. Uh, what I was running out of was the lye. As I mentioned, I'd never have enough of this. And this cost me six dollars and fifty cents, I think, at the hardware store. I felt a little odd asking for two containers of it. It was in a locked cabinet, and I just felt a little odd, like, I need two containers of that. I, if I'd asked for any more, the guy would have probably gave me a crazy look, like, what are you going to use it for? So I just didn't feel like going back there and asking for more of it. I don't know why, I just felt odd. So, I went online, and I found a place to sell lie online, and it was a lot cheaper. Now, I don't, I assume this is the same. I don't know for sure, but it says hydroxide lye beads, sodium hydroxide lye beads, and this was, let me see if I can find out where it says what it is, uh, sodium hydroxide caustic soda lye, so this is sodium hydroxide lye beads, I think it's exactly the same thing, high grade sodium Hydroxide lye, N-A-C-H, for soap making, food preparation, and quality critical uses. Food grade, Codex FCC kosher certified. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not going to make any food out of it, that's for sure. I don't know what kind of food you'd even make out of it. It looks exactly the same, so we'll, we'll be testing it to see. <coughs> Anyways, I bought... I think a bottle of this was three dollars and twenty-five cents, maybe three dollars and fifty cents. Don't don't want. I don't know for sure, but it's from Essential Depot, uh, Greener Life Essentials, uh, www.essentialdepot.com, and this is a two-pound container. So a two-pound container here is in comparison to a one-pound container, six dollars and fifty cents. Three dollars and uh, I'd say fifty cents. I don't know. Difference is, you drive to the store, you get this. You pay to ship this. This is not cheap to ship. Um, that's why I bought five containers of it because I didn't want to ship it more than once. So I have five two-pound containers of this stuff, which now I can. Make a lot of sodium silicate, I assume, as long as it works. <coughs> now, I really don't have a second use for sodium silicate yet. Uh, I know you can use it to make your cope and drag sand and mix it together to make your cores and so on and so forth. And I may use it for that. So that's why I bought extra, just to have it here. I think I paid, at, let's say it was three fifty a container, I don't know exactly, and then I think I paid an additional twelve to fifteen dollars, twelve to fourteen dollars for shipping, just these five containers. So the shipping was very expensive, uh, not quite half, but maybe a third of the whole cost of this. So all in all, this is still cheaper than what I was getting here from the hardware store. So, anyways, both I think will work the same. We'll find out. I'll need to make a lot more of this stuff. Before I can go further with this, because I don't want to start on those walls and have to stop halfway like I did with the base, uh, I want it to kind of bind together better uh, as it goes up so it doesn't dry out. Uh, and when I pulled that out of the center, it all fell apart, kind of, kind of cracked apart. So that makes me very nervous about pulling that large piece out of the center. I think I'm going to wrap it in newspaper and tape the newspaper to itself. Might help when I pull it out. The newspaper will stay to the, stick to the sides of the perlite and sodium silicate, and that way I can just burn that paper off, is my thought. Just wanted to give an update on how that uh, mixture worked out for me in case you were trying to do the same thing. Uh, key, I think, here is more sodium silicate. However, I haven't tested it for flame retardant or any of that kind of stuff, and I don't think it's solid enough that you could drop it like concrete and it would all stay together. I think it would all just shatter apart and fall apart. So that's bad side. I also think maybe the uh, 
galvanized bucket having an open base to it as it does pushing down on it uh, it flexes too much so packing stuff in here is kind of difficult because there's a flex so when I go to put the rest of it in I may build a little uh, base down here so that when I'm pushing I'm not flexing when I'm packing at least as it dries and once it's dry I don't care so much about it because I'm going to line it in concrete and I think that will help hold it together a little better Anyway, that's where we stand. I'll keep you guys up to date once I start making some more of this stuff. Talk to you later.